Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to your sports edition of the Mental House. This crazy stuff be going on, so we'll talk about the crazy stuff that goes on in the sports edition. Now, remember, I do have a Mental House TV channel. That's my other channel, and I sure would like to invite y'all over there to talk uh, a little politics, a little current events, a little family, and a little mental health. That's what we talk about on mental health, I mean on uh, Mental House TV, right? So this is a sports section edition, rather, and I want to get right to it because this is crazy, and I can't believe that... Um, this man got himself entitled, I mean, entangled in this craziness to destroy uh, Lorenzen Wright. Now, because of the children, I try to be sensitive. And as a parent, I want to be very sensitive in how I come across reading this story. Because those kids, even though they are young adults now, have been traumatized. And to the degree where... I want to be conscious when I'm bringing, I'm not like a lot of people that just say whatever the hell they want to say, not thinking that these, these, these kids have in essence lost both of their parents. One to death and one to prison. Um, And the loyalty is going to always be with their mother, no matter what. They can't help it. It's an eight. And it is, um, it's, it's, it's spiritual. Okay. Whether they don't like her or not, they are forever connected and they will always have empathy to some degree for their mom. Even if it's to deny that this whole thing happened and she had anything to do with it. So again, I want to be sensitive to that. Um, at the same time, bring this story. So a Tennessee judge on Wednesday set a 2022 trial date for a man charged with the conspiracy with the ex-wife of Lorenzo Wright to kill the former NBA player nearly 11 years ago. You see how this stuff drag on and drag on? I got a brother that's murdered and I'm waiting on the trial to start. And it's just, ugh. everybody in the jailhouse had uh, COVID now, so I can understand that. And the t- trial has been delayed again. This trial has been delayed so many times. Shelby County Criminal Court Judge Lee Coffey told Billy Ray Turner that his trial in Wright's land is scheduled to begin January 31st. Turner's trial had been set for October 2020, but it was postponed after the Tennessee Supreme Court suspended trials last year because of the coronavirus pandemic. The state's high court said in February that trials could resume after March 31st. A trial in Wright's Slant in Memphis would involve one of the most highly publicized murder cases in the city's history. Turner was has pleaded not guilty to charges of first-degree murder and conspiracy issued in a December 2017 indictment. He could face life in prison if convicted of first-degree murder. Wright's decomposing body was found riddled with bullet wounds in a swampy field in East Memphis on July 28, 2010. Wright, 34, had been missing for 10 days before his body was discovered. A Memphis native, the 6-foot-11-inch Wright played 13 seasons for the Memphis Memphis Grizzlies, and four other NBA teams. He was retired from the league when he was killed. Lorenz and Wright also played college basketball for the University of Memphis. Wright's ex-wife, Shara Wright, entered a surprise guilty plea to facilitation of murder in July of 2019. Coffey sentenced her to 30 years in prison and she could be a witness in Turner's trial. Turner, 50, 
has already pleaded guilty to possessing a weapon as a convicted felon. Prosecutors say Turner had two guns when he was arrested in Rice killing. So he was sentenced to 16 years in prison on that separate gun charge. Okay, so he's been sentenced for the gun charge. And that's 16 years as a felon, again, carrying the firearm. During a brief court appearance Wednesday, Coffey apologized to Turner for the delay in his trial, which could take two weeks. Turner told the judge that he has been in jail waiting a trial for years, that he is eager to prove my innocence and get back to my family. Well, that won't happen anytime soon. Well, I mean, it will happen soon. Um, so after the 31st, you just gonna have to hold on a little bit longer. And I'm sure the world is anxious to hear your side of the story. Um, because what y'all did to the risen was just greed and uncalled for madness. And that brother didn't deserve to go like that. He didn't, that did not deserve to happen to him. So with that being said, this man's trial is going to be set um, in a couple weeks after uh, March 2022. It's a long time coming, and I can't wait to, for it to begin. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that. What you think about this dude? What do you think about Shara Wright um, and her turning states against him? And the whole thing. I'd like to know your comments. Leave them below. And I'm going to see you in the next video.